Hello guys, today I am in the kitchen. I am doing a little different video. I am going to cook some Jack Carvel. Most of you guys out there that catch a uh, Jack uh, Carvel, you throw them back in the water. So I went to a bridge yesterday in the Florida Keys with my cousin and all I caught was four Jack Carvel. So I filleted them, I did a process to them, I dipped them in water with lemon rinse them real good and then I salted them. After I salted them, I put them in the refrigerator and left them overnight. Then I went ahead and went through another rinsing process and I seasoned the filet that I'm gonna have today. Let's see how it comes out. First thing you wanna do is separate the egg white from the egg yolk. Now, I, I already have two egg yolks ready. I mean, I do it this way sometimes. There we go. Next thing, you want to grab a fork, mix it up real good. The reason I use the egg yolk alone, so when I dip the fish in the egg yolk and then bread it, it just tastes a lot richer. We're going to add a little milk to this. Next step, just add a little bit of milk to your liking and stir it well. This will give the fish a much richer uh, taste. The next step is to dip the filet. This is the Jack Crevel filet. Nicely seasoned. I will show you guys how I season it and I'll put everything in the description down below. You dip it in the egg. Let it sit there for about 10 or 20 seconds. Then you take your flour. Dip it in the flour. Make sure you get all the fish covered in flour. Even the sides, everything. Okay, let me clean this plate out. I'll be right back. Now, I'm going to cook the fish on medium-high heat. Let it sit there for a couple minutes, then we'll throw it in the uh, frying pan. Make sure your oil is hot enough and let's put it in here. And we want to get it to a nice golden brown color. Looking pretty good. Usually it takes 
No more than five to ten minutes to get her all done. It's almost ready now. Looking pretty good. Let's turn it over. It's looking good. Now my cousin called me today and he said he had some of it. He just seasoned it a different way and said it was delicious. So if this filet comes out as good as I think it's going to come out, I'll be eating Jack Prevelle from now on. Me putting the oil over the top of it just speeds up the process. The oil I'm using is uh, corn oil, Lazola corn oil. You can get it at Publix or Winn Dixie, any supermarket. That's the color I'm looking for. Just a little while longer and she's done. Or he, I don't know what it was. I know I had a lot of fun and it pulled like crazy off a bridge, imagine that. This one that I'm cooking here, it's just a piece of over a 20 pound Crevel Jack. I didn't get the video the whole fishing experience on uh, Tuesday, but I will on Friday. I'm going back out there. It's too windy for a boat right now. You're right. That's what I'm looking for. That right there looks good. That looks delicious. I'm going to give it a taste test. Wow, the meat looks pretty good. Wow. Mmm. That is really good. And there it is. That's what my dinner is looking like for tonight. I think it's going to be delicious. Guys, thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I'll be putting everything in the description below, the ingredients that I use. And you guys saw the breading process, so thank you and thank you for watching.